Okay, what is up, everybody? Welcome to your daily dose of awesome, your life 50 minutes, a daily motivation, inspiration, and education so you can get your day started right. Uh, today, I have a very special guest. Say hello, Kate, to everybody there. Hey, what's going on, everybody? How you doing? Hi, Ferdy. Hi. <laughs> so we got the incredible Kate McShay here with us uh, to deliver a pretty awesome lesson. So Kate just hit a milestone in her business online. Uh, she just hit her first six-figure month where she didn't do any product launches or anything special. It was just about remaining consistent with her business and, and it steadily growing, growing, and growing over time. And so now she's hit a six-figure per month business. And I'm I'm so proud of, proud of you, Kate. This is a huge milestone to be able to do this. Thank so you. few people ever accomplish this in this industry. So first of all, you're awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I asked Kate to actually reveal the business model that's working for her, for her right now. Now, this may or may, may not be a little, a little more advanced, but it'll definitely be fascinating and interesting and it'll give you something to look forward to as to how you should uh you know model your business moving forward if you want to be able to hit uh that you know six figure per month business obviously what that translates to is translates to a seven figure annual business well into seven figure annual business and so that's what kate's going to be sharing uh with us today but before we we i hand it over to her and uh and take my ugly mug off the screen i want to just quickly introduce myself my name is Fernie Savals. I'm a lead generation and online marketing expert specializing in helping home business owners, that's network marketers, affiliate marketers, direct sellers, multiply their incomes using the internet, just like we did with Kate. Uh, I built my first six-figure network marketing business within a couple years of discovering the information we teach here at Elite Marketing Pro. And over the past 10 years, we've been responsible for over $11 million in gross income into my personal home business and hundreds of millions of dollars more in the incomes of our clients. So... What we teach works. Obviously, Kate will be sharing uh, with you guys what it is we've kind of mentored her and, and taught her over the years and what she's taken to a whole, a whole other level and discovered for herself. And so that's what she'll be sharing today. Now, if you're new to our training, I highly recommend you subscribe to these daily lives. We do them every single day, Monday through Friday uh, at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. And so to subscribe, it's very simple. If you're watching this on your mobile device in the top right corner, Click on the top right corner, a little ellipsis symbol will show up. Uh, and then you click on that again, uh, a menu will show up where you can like our fan page if you haven't already. And also you can uh, adjust your notification settings so that you can notify every time we go live uh, with one of these trainings. And trust me, you want to tune in live. It's only 15 minutes of your day, yet it will very likely be the most impactful 15 minutes of your entire day. And so if you're watching this on mobile, you can just simply click on our logo right above the description of this video. That'll take you to our fan page, and on that fan page, you can click liked, and uh, on that state like button, there's a pull down menu. We can, or you can also turn on notifications. So, uh, with with that said, also there's a link in the description here uh, of this uh, video. If you want to learn the formula Kate used, then definitely utilize uh, that link as well, and and so that'll get you started through the exact process that Kate used in her business. So, without further ado, Kate, take it away. Awesome. Thanks so much, Fernie, for having me on. I really, really appreciate it. And um, just like Fernie said, make sure that you subscribe to these uh, Facebook Lives because I know all the other people that they bring on and then Fernie's trainings that he does as well on the Daily Dose of Awesome are so highly, highly powerful. That's actually how I got my start in this uh, space was I attended every single day um, a very similar training like this where it was 15 minutes a day and I would just hop on, I would listen, I would watch, I would take notes and then I would implement. And that was one of the ways that we started up our business. So it can be very, very powerful for you. So please make sure that you, uh, that you make sure that you subscribe to the Daily Dose of Awesome. Totally amazing. So, um, so it's been an interesting, it was an interesting month in December. Um, I know that there's a lot of people out there that think December is a slow month. Um, I used to agree and think that myself that December had to be just a slower month, everybody's in holiday mode, and what I realized was that was, um, like Fernie had said, um, that was our best month that we ever had, so we did over $108,000 in just our own products and services, that doesn't include affiliate commissions, that doesn't include um, some of, a couple of things that we're promoting um, for January, and and that was all done in our own products and our own services. And so it was pretty amazing to watch that happen and watch the income continue to rise 
and just go, oh my gosh, it's working. Because we've done it before, we've done six, we've had six figure months, we've had multiple six figure months, but it was due to a crazy hustle in doing a product launch or having a live event or doing something where it took a lot of dedicated time and effort. And this month was very different. So what I wanted to share with you were some of the things that I did in order to help make that happen and also how you can actually start applying a lot of the methods that created this six figure month and you can actually start doing it now no matter what kind of business you have because it's a little bit of a shift in the way of thinking and a shift in the way of um, how you promote, what you promote, and who you promote it to. Um, because one of the biggest things that I learned um, in the beginning I, I thought, and it's important, I thought that it was all about just providing value. Like everything just had to be about providing value and then the sales would come in. Now, that's true to an extent. However, it's with the value that you provide, okay? So if you're sharing trainings, if you're doing Facebook Lives, if you're writing blog posts, there always has to be some way to make a sale because um, I believe it's the book Ready, Fire, Aim. Um, and if it's not, then it's what got you here won't get you there. Okay, two really, really good books. I highly suggest you get them. Um, where it really talks about until your business is a seven-figure business, is a million-dollar business, sales is your number one priority, right? However, a lot of people think like just shoving your products and services in people's faces. That's not really how we do it, right? We do it through providing value, and you'll see as you tune into all the other Daily Dose of Awesome calls. So. So one of the biggest things that I wanted to share with you that it was a little bit of a shift is, and, and actually allowed me to provide value for people for fun in December. Like it wasn't pressureful. It didn't feel like, well, I have to get this out because I have to hit my numbers. Um, so there's a couple of different things that we did in the past 90 days that really helped us be able to create this six figure month. And I would even say the past 12 months to the past six months of how we were really thinking about our business, okay? Number one, one of the one of the biggest things that I did that I that I did every single month. However, I was very hyper hyper focused um, this past month on the number of sales that I wanted to bring into my business and which products I was sharing. Okay, so what I learned was that um, there's a difference between. Okay, and this is really important because this is important for you if you're bringing in teammates for your network marketing company, if you're closing affiliate sales, whatever it is. I was very focused for, I would say, about the past 12 months, um, if not, you know, since, what, since I started my business on just how do I make sales, right? So that was always in the back of my mind. How do I make sales? However, it wasn't a focused thought on, well, what products and services do I want to make sales on? that will give me the most revenue. However, I won't have to work as hard to get them. So what I mean by that is obviously there's different price products, right? So for a really long time in the beginning of my business, and this is just, it's natural. And if you're in this space, it, it happens, right? And just identify that you're in this space. I was marketing out a couple of different products that were about $37. And I was hustling and grinding to close those $37 sales, right? I learned a ton during that time. However, I didn't have anything else that I could offer out afterwards that was more than that. And so what would end up happening is I would have to produce and close so many sales and bring in so many new customers that just to hit the numbers I needed to hit each month, okay? And then when I made the shift to, well, what else could I potentially have that I could also market out to those new customers, okay? What can I market out to those new customers that's gonna be at a higher price point that's also going to enhance, help, and, and have them create even more success inside of their business or in their life in general. What can I offer out to them to, to actually create more revenue? So it's basically taking one customer and then utilizing what they need and offering it out to them versus feeling like, so if I have one customer, right? and they buy a $37 product, and then they buy a $500 product, and then they might buy a $1,500 product, versus me feeling like I have to get however many customers I need to make, you know, like $2,000. I'm gonna need so many more at a $37 price point than if I just take these one customers and I really listen, and I got in tune on what they needed, okay? So that was, a, that was one of the biggest things, is I focused hard on my numbers 
for the past 60 days, really, on, okay, which, which products do I want to market? Um, what do my customers, this is an important one, and this is really helpful, too, for teammates. What do my customers that I already have, right, or clients that I already have, or teammates that I already have, what do they want more of? Or what do they need more help with? And so the most, most important thing to do is to ask. And so that's what I did, is I had this client base, I have these customers, and I said, hey, what could you use more help with? And the amazing thing that happens is when you ask what people need, they tell you. And they say, well, I could really use this, 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 or this, or I really struggle with technology, or I really just don't know how to, how to actually even start up my business on Facebook. I need help with that. And so what's cool is, and this is what the guys have taught me here at Elite Marketing Pro, is the amazing thing is once you create that, that client base, right? Because you are, you're gonna have to bring in, you're gonna have to hustle in the beginning and just bring in a ton of people. But once you have these customers, you get to ask them what they want and you can create what they need, okay? Or you can find a company or a service that has what they need and you can become an affiliate for them, right? So that's essentially what we did, is we had this customer base and what we realized we were doing is we were constantly marketing out products and services that were $297 or below. And in order to hit $100,000 a month, um, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work to produce the numbers you need to produce in order to get there. However, what we did is we shifted to creating a product that was $1,500 that our customers needed and they wanted. And then we created some other products that were a little bit higher above that. And the amazing thing is, is with the same amount of customer base, right, we were able to make this six-figure uh, income in a month, right, because we listened carefully to what people wanted and we made sure that we delivered that to them. And that's one of the most important things that can happen. Um, the two other things I would tell you that were important is then we started to figure out um, how to leverage, right, how we could create leverage so I could work less and earn more and work on focusing on providing value and doing Facebook Lives and all that fun kind of stuff. So what we did, and this is again, like Fernie was saying, some of it might be a little higher level. However, what I can tell you is you can do the process now yourself. So, because this is what I did to actually do my first six figure year. Um, so we hired out a, a coaching staff and we have a team now that does some amazing coaching calls and um, speaks with our clients and our customers, which is great. And they also can market out products and services of ours if they feel like that customer could utilize it and could utilize more of my help, right? Now, if you wanna do that yourself, this is what I did. I would get customers coming in and I would pick up the phone and I would call them and I would build a relationship, talk to them, ask what they needed, and then what I would do is I would market out another product or service that could help them out. And so then I utilized that customer and I was able to give them even more of what they needed to be successful and then obviously increase my revenue. So for you, if you're on here and you're new and you're not gonna hire out you know, a coaching and a sales team, then what you can do is you can actually do it yourself, right? In the beginning to actually increase more of your profits. Um, and then another way to leverage is obviously creating systems online, okay? So we have our own products and services. Um, the guys here at Elite Marketing Pro have taught us how to automate a lot of our work and how to actually have a product that I don't have to have, I don't have to be on the phone constantly calling people, where if I do a Facebook Live and I send people over there, then people can buy on the spot, right? And so that was another piece of what happened is we started utilizing our products and services that we have that are automated. And so we had sales coming in, and then what we did is we had more people buying these $1,500 and up, um, up uh, courses and packages where they got more time with me. Now, if you're thinking, well, how do I do this right now? There's some cool things that you can do. So um, just briefly, when I, think about, when I think about leverage, okay, if you're in a network marketing company or if you're an affiliate marketing company and you actually have people come into that system and you also let them know that you're gonna provide and help them out and help them get started, um, if you wanna leverage something, leverage your trainings, okay? So start making a list of all the common questions that you get from people that come in as new customers or come in as new teammates and start doing weekly trainings where you're providing that value, you're answering their questions or you're writing blog posts answering their questions. So the next time somebody else has that question, 
all you have to do is give them that training or all you have to do is give them that link to that blog. So then it's taking away, it's actually allowing you to have more time to focus on other things, okay? So starting to think about what are the things that happen over and over and over again that you could just easily record and create a training on that then you give to a team, right? And it's also something that's cool and powerful because your team can basically then um, be, they don't need you as much. Now the other thing I would say, and this is something that, anybody can do if you guys have a team or if you've got customers is look at yourself as an asset okay um, that was something I didn't do for a really really long time however um, people buy from people that they know like and trust and there's a very good chance if, if they're investing and they're buying from you that they like you and there's something about you that they find that's really really um, that, that you provide value and that you're helpful to them so what I recommend doing is at some point thinking about this year a way where you can increase ways of people getting a chance to work with you because if they're on your team and you're doing like above and beyond things like setting up fan pages or doing anything outside of you know what you should typically do as an upline or as you know an affiliate marketer if there's extra things that you're doing you can offer those out as services of your own and that's an extra way for people to get a chance to work and have time with you or if they upgrade to a different level, right? They get more time with you. Um, that's what people love, and that's what people, in a lot of ways, really need is more, um, more time and more direct focus. And so, for any of you that are out there, um, one of the biggest things is get really, really good at something. Okay, I saw Carrie was on the Daily Dose of Awesome the other day, and she was sharing about her Facebook marketing strategy. So the cool thing about Carrie is now she has an asset that she can share with other people, right? Julie Burke is a social media prospector. So she has an asset that she can share with other people. So any of you that are on here that are new, get good at something that's going to create results for you and then utilize that as an asset for you, for people to want to work with you even above and beyond being part of your network marketing team or an affiliate marketing company that you work with because that's a great way for you to increase your income without feeling like you have to get a flood of customers coming in all the time. So the biggest things that I can tell you, just to sum it up, is really what created for us this, um, this six-figure month, okay, without having to do these crazy launches or hosting, you know, two to three webinars a week and just, like, grinding to the ground. It was focusing in on the number of sales that we were going to bring in that month but also focusing in on our customers, our current customers, people that already know, like, and trust us, and listening, like really, really listening to what they wanted, what they needed, and how I could further help them get to wherever their vision is, whatever gets them stuck, um, whatever I can do to help them get unstuck by offering out higher priced products and services, okay? That was, that was the deal breaker, was being able to utilize our customers, give them more of what they need at a higher price point. So I get to work with high quality people um, and obviously our revenue increases there. I get to impact more people that way. Um, and then obviously utilizing leverage, right? So finding a way where you're not constantly having to do all of the work, um, whether that's you creating value and then having it something that you can hand out to your teammates or having you know, your own coaches come on and work with you whatever you can do to find leverage is going to be really, really helpful when you're looking and envisioning yourself growing a business um, similar to this, where you're on track for seven-figure business. Um, and then the fun part is, is that providing value, so doing those Facebook Lives, writing those blog posts, sending those emails, don't become as high-pressured anymore because it actually becomes fun because it's about acquiring in the kind of customers that you want. So that's it, Fernie. Thank you so much, Kate. That was awesome. And uh, one thing I wanted to add, I did a daily dose of awesome yesterday on metrics, you know, being able to track, tracking your results, tracking your numbers, uh, which yeah. is something people in network marketing almost never do, um, right. but, but they should do. And especially if you're, if you're adding an online component to it, you should definitely be tracking your metrics because, you know, if you want to know how do I hit this mark in my business, you got to be able to work backwards from that number you need to hit. Yeah. And, and, and do the, do the math uh, so that you know how many sales, how many front-end sales or how many new leads, how many new prospects you need to engage with on a daily basis. So, you know, it, you know that's how you hit goals. If you want to hit a, a six-figure 
per year business or six figure per month business, you got to work backwards. And sometimes you say, wow, I got to, in order to do a six figure per month business, I got to generate a lot of front end sales. So what if instead I generated fewer front end sales, but offered some other uh, coaching service or some other higher priced uh, product or, or, or opportunity for them to, to be a part in that'll get me to the numbers I need to get to without having to, you know, go crazy with the traffic or the leads um, or, or take the existing lead flow that I have and be able to hit those numbers based on adding something else that our customers uh, really want or need in their business. So uh, I'm, I create, uh, just comment a little bit on the metrics part of it because I, I know it's something you utilize. Yeah. Oh, totally. And that's how we hit our six figure um, per year business. That's how we went from zero to six figures in less than 12 months because we knew how many leads we were bringing in. We knew that, you know, three to five leads would create like a sale a week. So we needed to figure out, okay, how many leads do we need to get in order to get to, you know, I think it was like 10 sales a week or five sales a week at a lower price point. Um, but then we realize, okay, so how many videos do we need to shoot? And, and it's amazing when you actually know that number that you want to end with because you can, it's, it's like you put the puzzle pieces together. You can all of a sudden just map out, all right, so then this is what I need to be doing. And that's what, and, and it becomes so much clearer. Um, the overwhelm of what you have to do on a daily basis goes away because you know exactly what numbers you need to hit. And then it kind of becomes fun. It becomes fun to figure out, okay, well, how, how might we get there? Oh, cool. Let's host this training. Let's do this. Let's, you know, create this blog post. Let's create this ad and let's see um, what we can do in order to get ourselves to this number. It's so critical. Um, and it becomes even more critical the, the higher up you get because when you start obviously getting up to a higher income level, you're not going to be able to just do it all on your own unless you want to work like a dog, which I've done before. And so you've got to be really clear because you're going to have other people on your team coming in to work with you. So, yeah, I'm happy you brought that up for me because that's one of the most important and critical things. Yeah, absolutely. And you said something that, that's actually important, you know, regardless of what level you're at, is listening to your prospects, listening to your customers. Um, you know, Julie's, Julie's going to launch a, a, a very in-depth recruiting course on every, every aspect of her network marketing business in the coming months. And it's called uh, the silent recruiter, the silent recruiting method. The reason why is because basically, you know, 90% of the time that she's on the phone with a prospect, she's not doing the talking. They are, uh, you know, they, you know, you have to be listening to what people say. So you just ask some probing questions and then you listen and then, then you can basically figure out how your product service opportunity, whatever, how it's specifically going to be a fit for that particular person. And, and that you're speaking to. And then on the grander scale, you know, once you, you go big time like Kate here, uh, maybe you want to survey your customers or have whoever's on the phone with your customers, have them provide feedback so that whatever you, you do next for them is going to be something they're really going to really want and need because it, fit, it solves a certain problem or fits a certain need in their business as well. So, Kate, thank you so much for being on. I, I know everyone really appreciates this. Guys, please share this, this uh, Daily Dose with everybody on your Facebook profile, on your fan page, uh, any, anywhere you can possibly possibly post it. There's no link in the description. I'll be adding our link after we're done here with our live. So if you're a member of Elite Marketing Pro, get your referral link, share it right away. And uh, I'll, I'll wait a few minutes after we're done, Kate. So Kate, thank you so much. And those of you who are watching this, uh, be sure to, to, to refresh the, the this video. There'll be a link in the description. You just can simply go to elitemarketingpro.com forward slash go. And, uh, and, and you can check out the exact formula Kate used to, to start her business and, and launch it to the, you know, six figure monthly success that it is now. So thank you so much, Kate. Thanks, Bernie. Take care, everybody. All right. Take care, everybody. Have an awesome day.